Dear viewers of the Tom Photo channel, the level of lens distortions in your photo depends on the nature of the lens and the shape of the subject as well as the angle between the camera and the subject, the distance between the two, and more. The wider your lens, the closer you are to your subject, and the less perpendicular you are to your subject, the more lens distortions you will see. When shooting JPEG, the camera will automatically correct some of the problems, but with the RAW files, it will all be up to your skill set. Today I'm talking about removing lens distortions using GIMP. I have produced a similar video in the past, but today I'm taking it a step further and trying to solve an even more complicated case for you. Here's an indoor photo that has some serious problems. You see a significant barrel effect. The vertical lines are not straight. Secondly, the vertical lines are not fully vertical. The kitchen gets wider as you move toward the ceiling. The horizontal lines are not horizontal either. The distance to the left side of the kitchen counter is not the same as to the right side. This would be okay if the differences were large, but they are small enough to be annoying and to raise question marks. Can we fix this photo in GIMP? The first step is to get rid of the barrel effect. Go to Filters, Distorts, Lens Distortions, and reduce the value of the main parameter until the fridge lines look straight. Increasing the value would bend the lines in the other direction. Here it looks like minus 2.6 fixes the fridge, but the cabinet on the very right continues to have curvature problems. The parameter edge primarily influences the edges of the photos. Let's change that to minus 1 and we see that the cabinet looks alright now. But the fridge looks overdone. So we need to reduce the magnitude of the main parameter. Let's change this to minus 1.5 as well. And it looks like we are more or less okay for the fridge and the cabinet. I typically play around with these parameters by making small adjustments, not forgetting that one of them will influence the other. Okay, let's assume that we are happy with the curvature situation. So we apply our selection of minus 1.5 and minus 1. Our next problem is slanted lines. We go to Tools, Transform Tools, and 3D Transform. It is the X angle value we need to change. We need to change it to a value that makes the lines on the left parallel to the lines on the right. I think plus 2 is a value not too far from the optimum. Now that this is done, we additionally need to turn the image to the right because it's currently leaning too far to the left. It is the Z parameter that does that. When we change it to about minus 1.3, we get the wall lines pointing in the up direction. Even after all of this, the photo is not looking good. The ceiling lines high up are not perpendicular to the viewer. We can try to fix that by bringing the left side of the kitchen closer to us. This is the Y parameter. We change this to plus 1 and things are getting better. Note that we cannot do more than plus 1 because the kitchen counter will start to turn the wrong way. So, if we go with the parameter settings of 2, 1, and minus 1.3, we are making this kitchen look so much nicer. At this point, I like to draw a selection rectangle to overlay the lines to see how much we deviate from the ideal solution. The counter is an A, the ceiling is a bit curved, so I'd say it's a B. The back wall on the left is an A. The right line of the fridge is a B. The left line is only a C. The white wall on the right is a B. The rightmost line of the cabinet is an A. Let's crop the image to better see what we have done. The result is not perfect, but it is so much better than the original. The optical illusion makes the ceiling look not very level, but in fact it is. The counter looks like it's leaning to the right, but it isn't. What is causing this? I think the fridge is a weak point. We could have worked it a little more, but then the cabinet on the right would have suffered. Some of it is about making compromises. To make this photo a bit easier on the eye, I recommend cutting the fridge off a bit more. Let's see what that does. I think it increases the quality of the overall image. The fridge continues to be a weak spot, but in fact it is not that terrible. Part of the problem comes from the reflection. That confuses the eye a little bit. When we put the new and old image side by side, we can be reasonably happy with the result. I would grade it as a B, considering the low point where we started. It is still not a perfect photo. 
I should have photographed it a bit differently in the first place. So this is the creative work and pain associated with getting the lines right in the photos. This is not an easy task. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you feel like doing it. I hope to see you again in my other videos. Goodbye.